So Pokemon Go has been a phenomenon that has swept the better half of the world in under a week. And I thought that it would be kind of cool to share my experience with it. Uh, as someone who's been playing Pokemon since it came out in America in 1997, I first saw the the trailer for Pokemon Go, like, I guess around this time last year. I don't exactly remember when the first initial trailer came out, but um, it was it was probably one of the coolest things I'd seen in a while, like Mewtwo in Times Square. That was really awesome, and there's, you know, I watched the, uh, the YouTube video of that, and there's a lot of people commenting, like, oh my god, that's so cool, and I'm thinking to myself, that is, that is, like, the most amazing thing ever, but it's not gonna be like that, you know, when this app comes out, it's not gonna be anything like that, it's gonna be, like, cheesy, whatever, I was like, eh, I don't really care, um, funny enough, having actually played the game, I, I can say with almost utmost certainty that when Mewtwo actually does show up, it's going to be exactly like that, with like thousands of people standing there going after this thing, because I have, I have a feeling that's exactly how Niantic's going to do it. However, the only difference is, half of those people are going to be screaming at their screen when their game crashes on them, because there's going to be so many people that nobody's going to be able to even sign in. When the game first came out, there was a lot of hype around it, and I had seen the trailers for it, and I was like, nah. Uh, it looks, it looks kind of hokey, and I, I was that one dude that still had the flip phone, because I, I just, I hate technology, which is really funny, because I'm in the tech field, go figure, but, um, you know, I, I was, I was the one guy that actually, like, still had my flip phone, and I was like, screw this, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not going out and buying a brand new phone just to play this app. So, it comes, it came out, like, uh, it was, like, July 7th, I think? Yeah, something like that. Like, July 7th. Anyway. So, I live on a college campus, and I have a medical condition. I can't go out during the day, so I am usually do all my stuff at night. Basically live at, like, Walmart and 7-Eleven, because they're the only things that are open. But, you know, I, would, I walk around, I get my exercise, I, I go out and do stuff at night. Usually you get, like, one or two people walking around past midnight, but this was different. This was, like, all of a sudden, there were hundreds of people, and I'm just like, what the hell is going on? I was like, w what did I miss? Like, what is this? So, the first night I'm out there, I'm doing my thing, and I'm just like, why are there so many people around? And I'm, I'm seeing everybody on their phone, I was like, it can't be Pokemon Go. Like, are you kidding me? So, the next day, like, during the during, like, classes and stuff, and unfortunately I do have to go out to, during the day to get to classes, and it's usually a hassle, but you, you see people walking around in, like, Pikachu t-shirts with Pokeballs and, like, hats, like, you get the nerds doing it and stuff like that, and I, I was like, they're definitely playing it, but then you get, like, the jocks and the cheerleaders and, like, people that, like, don't fit the typical basement-dwelling nerd stereotype, and I was just like, huh. There's a lot of people playing this. This is really interesting. And I, I dismissed it. I didn't think much of it. But then nightfall comes around and I go out to do my stuff. And again, there's even more people. And I'm just like, okay, whoa, what's going on? I was like, this is so cool. There's literally thousands of people here. And I'm at one of the largest schools in the country. So it was, it was insanity. I was like, all right. I concede. I have to. I have to know what this is about. So I actually went out the next day and bought a two hundred dollars smartphone so I could download this app. And let me tell you, I have never seen anything quite like this. Um, the the game itself, it when it works, because obviously it, it's got. There's a lot of bugs going on. It's been crashy. It's been glitchy. I actually, it took me two hours of hacking my phone just to get it to work with the specs on my phone. But I did get. I did actually get it to work after. It was like, geez, I bought it at like, I don't know, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I got it to work around 2 in the morning. Um, and it's it was a lot of fun. It's really addicting. You know, you throw the Pokeballs and whatever. But that's not what I found to be so amazing about it. It's not the game itself, but what it's actually doing to society. Or at least where I am. Because I don't know how it plays out in, like, like, off of a college campus or off of a real, like, out of a city or in some rural area where there's not a lot of people, because I've only brought the game off campus, like, twice, and it's, it's pretty, like, sparse. You get, like, one or two little icons and maybe a Pokemon will pop up here or there. 
I, so I don't really know how it plays for the majority of people who are living in rural areas, but on this campus, it's a gold mine. It's a hot spot. There's literally thousands of those little polka spots, and there are so many people. It's unbelievable. You go out at night, and there are literally thousands of people. It's unreal. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. You know, you go out from like 8 o'clock to like 4 in the morning, and it's it's like walking around in broad daylight. There's people everywhere, and they're all Pokemon trainers. They're all doing the Pokemon game. And there's like, there's like six gyms on my campus, and most of them are at um, either like memorials or businesses. So you have like the burger, the hamburger joint, and they have a big poster on the, on the hamburger joint that basically says, if your team is the winning team, we'll give you free food. So there's like hordes of people over there. Starbucks has a, a, a thing on it about Pokemon Go, uh, basically with the teams, and they did all different menus based on the, the three teams. Um, there's contests going on, like you see posters all over the place. They had, one night I was out there and all the clubs on campus, they were just like, to hell with it. They literally just lined up across the street selling, like, candy and drinks and soda and, like, all of this shit. You see people walking around, like, they, people will bring, like, their dogs. I saw somebody taking a picture of their dog by, like, an augmented EV. It's funny, you see a lot of parents will, will bring their kids, and you see all these parents walking around with their kids, but it's the parents that are playing Pokemon, not the children. So, you know, they're walking around at one in the morning, Mommy, I'm tired, I want to go home. Shut the fuck up, we gotta go catch this Pikachu. You know, it's like, it's insanity. It, I've never seen anything like it. All of the staff members, the people that, like, run the dorms and the buildings, will pile into golf carts in the middle of the night, and they'll just go around campus in frickin' golf carts, like, laughing at everybody else because we all have to walk. And it's the staff. And then you have the police officers, the campus, the campus PD, in their car going around screaming about the Pokemon. They're playing it, too. It's insane. <laughs> I, you know, and, and it's just, like... The game itself is okay. It's not the greatest thing. I think they're going to make it better eventually. It's brand new. Um, there's a lot of issues with the server, obviously, because they 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 were not they were not expecting the amount of people to want to download this and play it as as they got. And I think that's part of the reason why everybody's trying to get on and nobody can get on. It's using the Google GPS. So everybody gets the same Pokemon in the same area, and I think that's why you get those crashes when everybody's trying to get the same thing. It can only handle so much. This is really like, you know, I've been waiting a really long time for something to like that. When you're, when you're a little kid and you're watching like Goonies or something and you're waiting for that adventure, and that's what this reminds me of. And I know it's, you know, it's not going to last. This will last for maybe like a month or so until the next best thing comes around. But um, that's one of the reasons I wanted to kind of jump on it now rather than wait to buy a phone and then not be able to be a part of it and uh, like i said i i don't know exactly what it's what it's like outside in in rural areas but i know in cities like i saw there there's a video out there of people abandoning their cars in central park for a vaporeon i used to live in new york so i can totally see that happening um but I know where I am, and this is like, it's it's basically like Pokemon in the real world. It is, it's as close as we're going to get, at least for the next maybe 10 years, but I think, I think this is where it's going to go. I think that um, Nintendo needs to take a leaf from the antics pages here and, and kind of go in that direction um, with maybe their next uh, DS series do something like this, because this is bigger than they thought it was going to be, and it's still in, like, the beta stages, so who knows where it's going to go. Um, I'm excited to see when uh, they release the other generations. I think it would be really cool to see if maybe um, they do, like, the Sun and Moon Pokemon along with the game, because that would be really awesome, but unfortunately, I think they're probably going to market this. This is probably eventually going to cost money because of just how popular it is, like, who in their right mind would give something this insane for free? To me, it seems like, enjoy it now, because they're they're going to charge for this. Like, I can see it coming a mile away. Like, yeah, you can get the first 151, but if you want, if you want the rest of the 700 and whatever they're going to make, you got to pay, like, 100 bucks. Something along those lines. So, anyway, I've gone on about this long enough.